Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hello, welcome. My name is Kristen and today I am going to be reviewing something that has kind of been all over Instagram, all over my Instagram ads. It is called Last Swab um, and their website is lastobject.com. I know they have some other projects that they're working on, which is very exciting. So. I reached out to them because it's like a revolutionary product. You know, there's all these single use Q-tips and cotton swabs and I grew up using those and I just never thought that there would be an actual reusable cotton swab, right? Like that just sounds, sounds strange. So I wanted to try it. They did send me the basic and the beauty version. So I have it here. I opened it up, but I'm gonna show you guys what's in here. So I have these two products right here. Um, this one is the basic and then this one is the beauty. They are completely reusable. You can just wash them with soap and water. I want to see if this is a gimmicky product or if it actually works. So let's open it up and I'm going to show you guys what they look like. Okay, so here's the main one. This is the basic. And this is the turtle green. Okay, so you just kind of swing it open. Oh, and then it's so small. Look at how cute this is. That is really cool. Oh, it is kind of flexible, so you kind of have to be careful with that. I don't know, this feels kind of big for what is carried inside, but I mean, it's definitely protecting this. And this is actually corn based, so it's like a plant plastic, which is pretty cool as well. You could also like put this on your keychain. And then this is the beauty version, so we'll open this up. It swings around the same way. So this has a tip, which will be really good for like eye makeup removal and stuff or if you got like a spot somewhere and you have to remove it. So these are the two, they're the exact same size. Okay, so I am here in my bathroom. I'm going to try the last swab basic and beauty. I'm probably not gonna like show you my earwax or anything cause that's kind of weird, but I'm gonna show you how this works. Let me read the instructions and make sure I don't need to get it wet or something. Use like you would a normal cotton swab. Do not boil and do not put it in the dishwasher. Of course, you don't want to like put it too deep in the ear. Yeah, there's a uh, earwax on this. There's stuff there. Yeah, it like gets stuck in there. Okay. Okay. There's stuff on this one too. It feels so weird because there's just like little rivets. Like I feel like with an actual cotton swab, it really gets everything that's like moist, like earwax in there. Whereas I feel like with this, it's not gonna get anything. I will typically use like two cotton swabs, one per ear, because I go in twice. Again, might be TMI, I don't know. But I'm gonna try it again and we're gonna see how it goes. Cause like, what else do you use a cotton swab for? Like you use it for your earwax, correct? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna do it again. Yeah, it got more. Like this is a great reusable product. The cotton and the moisture, it like collects more and attracts more with the cotton. Whereas this, I still feel like my ear has some wax in it which I'm not a doctor, maybe that's healthier for you to have something in there, but I am just used to having it kind of dry after using a traditional cotton swab. So now is the real test with the beauty. It's either gonna really work well or it's really not gonna work well. So it says to use a little bit of oil, but I, it is silicone, so that also kind of worries me using it over time, if that's really gonna work that well. Let's try this out. I'm gonna grab my jojoba oil over here. 
This is my jojoba oil that I refilled at my refill shop nearby. So this is what we're gonna try. This is it, it's a little drop on my finger here. We'll see if I can like correct anything. Hmm, okay, I put a little too much oil. A little bit goes a long way. And I'm gonna use the other side to kind of like wipe off the oil, I think. Okay, I'm actually surprised. I feel like this works better than the ear swab, the basic. Wow. So I had like a little black dot and I just put a little bit of oil on this. I put oil on this one that kind of comes to a point at the end and that's the one with the oil. I rubbed off a little piece of like black mascara that I had under my eye. And then with this side, I wiped it off, but it actually worked. And I feel like with normal cotton swabs, I would always be worried that little pieces of cotton will like stick to my eyelashes or just kind of crumple up onto my skin and then I have to worry about picking at it and messing up my makeup. So this actually works better than a traditional cotton swab in my opinion. Um, let me rinse this off and then I will talk more about it. So overall, I would give the last swab beauty, I would say this is a solid five out of five. I'm actually really impressed by this. I just don't use cotton swabs for like little marks and stuff because I do feel like it's super wasteful and just using it for five seconds to like get rid of like a smudge of mascara is wasteful. So I would, I stopped doing that a long time ago, but this is actually super, super helpful. And I love how compact and easy it is to travel with and just to throw in your purse or your bag and like do a little beauty check or a makeup check in the middle of your day, your work day, your travel day, whatever. This is really, really handy. And I like how one end is pointed and then the other end is just rounded. I'm really surprised. Even if people don't use cotton swabs, like this is really, really helpful for people. And it's only $12 and if it's gonna last forever, it's pretty solid. Yeah, I think this is a great gift. Just gotta say that. And then let's get into the last swab basic. I love this color. This is the sea turtle green color, I believe. And this one looks the coolest. Looking at the little rivets and just how like bumpy it is, it looks really cool off the bat. I mean, I do like how the middle matches the case. The middle is green and the case is green. The one thing, like I said previously, is that because it is silicone, it's hard to like get all of the earwax out like a traditional cotton swab would do. I feel like because it's cotton and it is absorbent of moisture, it's gonna really try to get all of the earwax. Whereas this, um, because it has all the bumps and divots, it collects as much as it can and like holds it inside of all these little bumps and divots, but it's not gonna get necessarily all of the earwax out, if that makes sense. I'm not a doctor. Maybe you want to have some of that earwax in your ear as well to like protect your eardrum and all of that jazz. But if you are one of those people that want your ear like super dry and make sure all of that earwax is out, this isn't necessarily going to take all of the earwax out. However, I love what this brand is doing, Last Object, creating the last swab because it's something that is reusable and a traditional single use item. Even if it is, you know, bamboo cotton swabs or made of paper cotton swabs. So it's something that is, you know, biodegradable and it isn't necessarily like a plastic stick in the middle. It's still single use and it still takes a ton of energy. You use it once for five seconds and that's it and then you throw it away. So it is pretty crazy when you think about it in that sense and I would recommend it. I would give this a four out of five just because it's not gonna leave you feeling super dry like a traditional cotton swab would. It's still gonna leave a little bit of something there but it's super easy to wash. I washed it with soap and water. It's a good thing overall. Um, this brand is based out of Denmark which is super cool. I think 
If you are interested in purchasing the last swab, I do have a discount code for you guys. Use code STROLL for 10% off of your purchase. It is an affiliate link, so I will receive a small commission, which just helps me out and it helps me make more content and videos for you guys on this channel. I do want to say before you guys go out and look for this product, um, they did start on Kickstarter. So a lot of knockoffs were made because I don't think they had this patented at the time. I don't know if it is now, but do not buy the cheap knockoffs. They are not as well made. They are not about sustainability. There's a lot of like China um, knockoff companies that do that to a lot of like sustainable products. I know they did that with Final Straw. They've done it with Last Swab. The representative I was emailing with said that they've had people like the ends would just fall off into their ear and stuff. So you need to buy it from their website. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It would mean so much to me if you would hit that subscribe button down below. And if there are other products that you want me to review, and try out for you guys let me know in the comments and i will try to get to as many as possible so yeah just remember that you do not have to be perfect to live sustainably i will see you guys in my next video and have a wonderful day bye